Welcome to our lecture online. Now here we have the same rod that we had before, but instead of being in, in air, it's now placed in water, where the index of refraction is 1.33. The index of the rod is still 1.5. Again, we place an object 8 centimeters away from the boundary. We have a radius of curvature here, r, which is going to be a positive 2 centimeters. And so where is the image going to be, and what's going to be the magnification? Well, let's find out. Again, we use the same equation, n1 over s. In this case, it's 1.33 over s, which is 8, plus 1.5 over s prime, which is what we're looking for, is equal to n2 minus n1, divided by the radius of curvature, which in this case, that's going to be 2. All right, simplifying this, we get 1.5 over s prime is equal to, that's going to be 0 0.17 over 2 minus, bringing this across, 1.33 over 8. It's a common denominator, that looks like it's 8. We quadruple that, that would be 40, that would be 0 0.68 over 8 minus 1.33 over 8. And so we have 1.5 over s prime is equal to, uh, let's see, that would be 0 0.33, 0 0.32, that's uh, 65, that's a negative 0 0.65 over 8. Negative, well, that means it's going to be on the same side as the object, which is very different from what we saw when the rod was placed in air. So it does make a difference. Well, let's continue here. So you can see s prime over 1.5 is going to be equal to a minus 8 over 0 0.65. And move the 1.5 over here to the numerator. We end up at minus 12 over 0 0.65. And my calculator is over here. 12 divided by 0 0.65. That's 18.46, a negative. So S prime is equal to minus 18.46 centimeters. So there's an interesting observation. So we have the object over here. Here's the boundary. We have the glass rod. But instead, the image is going to be on the same side as the object, farther away from the boundary, image 1, with S prime to be equal to a minus 18.46 centimeters. What about the magnification? The magnification is equal to minus s prime over s. The indices of refraction for s prime, we're now going to associate that with n1 and s with n2 in this equation. So the magnification is equal to minus n1, which is 1.33, times s prime, which is a minus 18.46, divided by n2, 1.5, and s was 8. So let's see what that's equal to. Multiply that times 1.333 and divide that by 12 and we have a magnification of slightly over 2 and it's a positive 2 which is interesting. So magnification is equal to a positive 2.05 which means that the image is about two times as big as the as the object and since it's positive well, the magnification is going to be the same, or I should say the orientation is going to be the same as the orientation of the object, and the image distance being negative means it's on the same side as the object. And so that's what happens when we place the rod in water. I think what we should do is do one more example where we put the object different locations to see how that makes a difference. We'll put it really close to the boundary, farther away from the boundary, and see if that makes any difference to the ultimate outcome. So stay tuned and we'll show you how to do that.